Good evening. Let me share with you a reading from the book of Christopher. Blessed are the brief, for they shall be invited back. I certainly have wish to exercise brevity on this evening, but certainly again, a warm round of applause to Fadi Mahmoud and all of those who work so hard at IID. Could we give them a round of applause? Greetings on behalf of Alcorn State University. We are committed to the work of the Institute for Interfaith Dialogue. Over the past two years, we've worked very closely with the Institute when they have events. We try to make sure that we are present. Uh, and over the past year, uh, they have helped us transform and inform the culture of our campus. Uh, first, uh, Fatih. Uh, trapped me uh, in my office after my mood trapped me and then next thing you know I thought I was going to Istanbul. Uh, Istanbul turned into Kayseri, Kayseri turned into Ephesus, Ephesus turned into Cappadocia uh, and when I got back I slept for a week but it was a fact-filled uh, culturally enlightening and historic event, uh, and certainly we were privileged to be a part. Additionally, uh, members of IID have come to speak on our campus. In fact, one of this year's commencement speakers for a multicultural ceremony uh, was a source that we identified in IID. And additionally, we began uh, this year a tradition to allow those persons of faith an optional program, which is our baccalaureate exercise, if they wish to express thankfulness. Uh, and we borrowed again from the Institute, and we had both, uh, we had more than both, we had a Catholic priest, uh, we had an imam who I see in the back, good to see you, uh, we had a rabbi, uh, we had a Baptist, uh, and I think we even had a Methodist uh, uh, to provide readings from their faith uh, to instruct and guide our students as they go about their work. Uh, we would not be able to do this without the work of our foundation uh, that allows us the flexibility uh, to provide support for these important initiatives. Uh, and while we are preparing this week to uh, host guests on our campus from the state of California, uh, and I will have to leave after the keynote speaker. Uh, the foundation uh, was very generous to me, uh, and so we were able to do two things tonight. One, we were able to bring a number of our senior staff, vice presidents, uh, our distinguished visiting professor, Merle Evers, but even more importantly, we were able to buy a table for our students. And with the students from Alcorn State University, please stand so that they might be there. Baptist minister, let me share with you uh, words from the prophet Micah. In the book of Micah, he writes, With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul. He has told you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? So tonight, as we participate in this banquet, and as we leave this place, let us remember that charge to live our lives fully committed to our various faiths and the divine charge to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before our God. There were six humans trapped by happenstance in bleak and bitter cold. Each one possessed a stick of wood or sold the story is told. Their dying fire in need of logs, the first man held his back. For the faces around the fire, 
he noticed one was black. The next man looking across the way saw not one from his church and could not bring himself to give the fire his stick of birch. The third one sat in tattered clothes and he gave his coat a hitch. Why should he put his log to use to warm the idle rich? The rich man just sat back and thought of the wealth he had in store and how he could keep what he had earned from the lazy, shiftless poor. The black man's face bespoke revenge as the fire passed from his sight for all he saw in his stick of wood was a chance to spite the white. The last man of this forlorn group did not accept for gain, giving only to those who gave to him was how he played the game. Their logs held tight in death still hands was proof of human sin. They did not die from the cold without. They died from the cold within. May God bless you.